Safety Program started in 2004 as the celebrating the county's 150th anniversary. We planted 150,000 trees. After that, we decided to plant a subsequent 150,000 plus one for each year beyond that. So this year we gave out 155,000 trees. And to grow these trees, we grow them with the community. The community is a part of every aspect of growing the trees and planting in their final locations. So next, in 2010, we'll be giving out at least 156,000 trees to the community of Wellington County. The county is approximately 89,000 people. So we're planting almost two trees per person in the county. The county's tree cover is about 17% and Environment Canada says that we should be approximately 30% tree cover as a minimum to protect our water and biodiversity. To get to there we'd have to plant 50 million trees. So we have a big task ahead of us to plant all these trees. But essentially um, the community, students and volunteers help us to grow these trees and get them back into the landscape to plant trees today to make a healthier future. Hello, I am Brenda Walsh, the volunteer coordinator here at the Green Legacy Tree Nursery. Our nursery is run on the most part uh, by the volunteers that we come in. We have a small staff um, that work with the volunteers here. Our numbers are this year in excess of a thousand uh, volunteers coming in um, just on an uh, individual basis and different community groups. Uh, we've had over 6,000 students come out from local schools in the area this year. Uh, our program with the students coming to the schools involves the children from kindergarten to grade three. Uh, we go into the schools and they do the work there. So we've had approximately 2,500 students in that category. Um, grades four through grade six come to the nursery and help us here. And we've had approximately 2,500 students in that category helping us here at the nursery. And then we've had about 1,200 grade seven and eight students that help us. They go out on out plants with us and we um, plant trees out in the community with uh, those students. Uh, the kinds of groups that we have coming vary from uh, Vanier Correctional Facility sends people. We have um, different businesses sending out groups doing team building uh, experiences. We have individual people who are just interested in the environment. Um, coming. We have students who are uh, needing community service hours come and they spend time here. Um, we have a variety of different uh, volunteer outreach from uh, the University of Guelph. We have some different environmental groups that come out and spend some time um, and many different programs. So in total we've had probably in excess of about 8,000 people um, at the nursery this year. Um, might be a full day, might be a half a day. When the volunteers come out, we typically plant trees or do some transplanting for half a day. Um, sometimes we'll take the volunteers on an interpretive nature hike. We are connected to 200 acres of hiking trails here at the Green Legacy. Our jobs vary from transplanting to seeding to packaging. Um, depending upon the season that you come to the nursery to volunteer, uh, we have many different jobs, uh, different levels. Um, if you're looking for some hard physical labor, we have that. If you want to do something where you can just sit down um, and you know do something a little easier, we can really um, accommodate everyone when they come here. Uh, we, we have had lots of disabled people here uh, volunteering to our foreign exchange students from Redleaf uh, come. So, that's uh, about the different uh, scope of people that we have coming to volunteer at the nursery. Um, and on the most part, they do all of the work that you see happening here because we have a very small staff. So. Hello, I'm Sheila Pease. I work with the Green Legacy. And one of the things I do is help coordinate the volunteers. And today we're working on transplanting in the shade area, moving trees from small pots into large pots. So as you can see, we've got people diligently pulling out weeds to reduce the competition in the pots. And their transplant, or these ones here are just being weeded and we put shavings on the top to help reduce the number of weeds. And then they're getting put into the shade area where they'll continue to grow for another season. Some of them will go out in the spring. Some of them will be transplanted into bigger pots to go out in the future. Uh, another team is working behind the shade area uh, to transplant small ones and bigger ones into the next size pot. And that's basically what the task is for today. From Germany, 
and um, yeah, I'm working since two weeks here at Green Legacy and the reforestation program. And I think it's a really nice program to uh, experience the nature, to um, yeah, to uh, make some work for the nature. And it's a good thing for volunteers to work here because yeah, it's really made for volunteer work. You see, um, there, there are many volunteers here and. Yeah, the whole program is based on volunteer work. So yeah, I'm happy to, to can do my part for uh, saving the nature and yeah, I really like this program.